Hello and welcome to our Friday Reflection. It was a few weeks ago when our Prime Minister Boris Johnson said at the beginning of lockdown that we were fighting a silent enemy. And for many people the last few weeks have been a battle. In various situations people have fought and are still fighting um, to save lives, to get through the lockdown, to deal with the kids homeschooling. In many ways we're fighting daily battles. Personally I've struggled over the last few weeks with my health. Um, I haven't been diagnosed with COVID-19 but because I haven't been tested but I've, I have has shown the symptoms and it has one of, been one of the greatest battles I've ever had to fight. But you know amidst the battle, amidst the fighting, amidst the um, the struggle and the difficult times, I've known the assurance of the presence of God in many, many ways. One of the things that really spoke to me was this story from Exodus. It's from Exodus um, 17 verses 8, 1, 8 to 15. And it's the story about when the Amalekites were defeated. The Amalekites came and attacked the, the Israelites at Rephabim. Moses said to Joshua, choose some of our men and go to fight the Amalekites. Tomorrow I will stand on top of the hill with the staff of God in my hands. So Joshua fought the Amalekites as Moses had ordered and Moses, Aaron and Hur went to the top of the hill. As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning. But whenever he lowered his hands, the Amalekites were winning. When Moses' hands grew tired, they took a stone and put it under him and he sat on it. Aaron and Hur held his hands up, one on one side and one on the other, so that his hands remained steady till sunset. So Joshua overcame the Amalekite army with the sword. And the Lord said to Moses, write this on a scroll as something to be remembered and make sure that Joshua hears it, because I will completely blot out the name of Amalek from under, under heaven. Moses built an altar and called it, The Lord is my banner. He said, Because hands were lifted up, the throne of the Lord, the Lord will be at war against the Amalekites from generation to generation. You know, in that battle, um, it was clear that Moses needed some support and someone to help him, help him through when he was weary. The battle was long. But Aaron and Hur held up his hands. They supported him and strengthened him. And, you know, in these times, this is what God has given us um, people for, to support us and to strengthen us. And I've known that so much in, in the last few weeks, where people all around the world have been praying that uh, my symptoms wouldn't worsen. And my friend's daughter was in New Zealand and she prayed for me there. Um, somebody else we knew in Philadelphia said they were praying for me. People in Guernsey, people in the UK, all around were praying. When I was too weak to to pray, even for myself, um, people held up my hands in prayer. I could sit on the rock. I could sit on, on God and knew I had a firm foundation. But just that, that I needed that strength of people around me who would pray. We're weak and often we can't even... So, summon the strength to fight the battles that we face but God provides us with an Aaron and a her maybe that's you today maybe you're supporting other people through this sick time in prayer praying for the NHS workers praying for the frontline staff we're lifting up their hands so that the battle can be won you know one of the things that was really difficult was when I felt even too weak um, even to ask for prayer and at that time God reminded me of a scripture again in Exodus when the um, the children of Israel faced the Red Sea and he said this I the Lord will fight for you you need only be still imagine what a relief that was to know that God the the king of kings the lord of lords the ruler of the armies would fight our battle for us what a relief to know that people will fight our battles with us. 
you know, this has given me a lot of confidence knowing that whatever I face, whether it be a, a physical illness, whether it be a, an emotional battle, whether it be a, a practical battle, whatever the battle I face, I'm not alone in it. And if you're fighting at the moment, know that you can call on the Lord who will fight your battle for you. You need only be still. Or you can call on your brothers and sisters in Christ just to come alongside you and hold up your hands. You know, it says in Galatians 6 verse 2, carry one another's burdens and in this way you fulfil the law of Christ. So I want to leave you with this thought today. Who's, whose burdens are you carrying? We don't have to carry them and, and be, be weighed down by them, but we can bring our, our brothers and our sisters and our friends and those that we know to the Lord in prayer. The old hymn says, Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. And I want to encourage you today to bring it to the Lord in prayer. Let him fight your battle and carry one another's burdens. In this way, we'll fulfil the law of Christ. Thank you and God bless.